Hello everybody, I'm EC3 with One on One with SVU Records and Entertainment, SVU Records and Entertainment. Uh, this series I started about two weeks ago and I think this is my fifth interview and I got a special cat to interview today and I can tell you now that uh, this interview is going to be quite hilarious because <laughs> this brother is very funny and we haven't seen each other now in a, over a year. Uh, not because of me, <laughs> but because of him, and I'll explain that in a minute. <laughs> but I am sitting with uh, a phenomenal, and I mean, let's stop saying phenomenal. I use that word so much, phenomenal, but it does apply to this brother. He is a wonderful vocalist, uh, actor, actor extraordinaire. <laughs> we'll talk about his acting. Uh, we've had the opportunity to share the stage in theater, uh, as well as doing music. Uh, you may know that face. Uh, they gave my hashtag Ration Nation from The Voice. Uh, he went all the way to the semifinals in The Voice, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Uh, that's a big, big thing, a big task. He went all the way up uh, uh, to the semifinals. Uh, great, great, great singer, person, hilarious, as you're going to see in a minute. <laughs> Uh, Y'all, please give it up, please, for Ration Lamar. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Listen, I'm so excited to be here with the one and only EC. <laughs> now, you know, it's funny. Right. Now, now, now you I'm see, EC. You see, I leave me out, but I'm the now, one that, that left me. Now, 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 oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But let me explain why I may have done that, which I didn't do it intentionally. I've been trying to reach this brother for uh, about six months <laughs> without one return phone call, one return text. <laughs> No, no, he did return one text and said, I'm in the middle of a meeting, but I'm going to hit you as soon as I get out. That was four months ago. So uh, he's a busy brother. He's very busy. And uh, I think that, Ration, uh, let, let's talk about where you are now. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, actually, let's go back a little bit. What was your experience on The Voice? How was that? Because I saw the first night. Yeah. And a few nights, I saw a few of them. Uh -huh. But that first night to me, yeah. man, that you came out, you were on fire. Yeah. Uh, and you became very emotional, which yeah. I thought was, but it was real. It was just heartfelt, yeah. and I think America uh, really felt that. Mm -hmm. Tell us what was going through your mind before you came out on stage. Well, first of all, let me just say, being on the show was one of the best experiences ever. I mean, when it comes down to the people, the staff, the voice. Yeah, who are the, the voice. I'm sorry. Who are the judges? Who so the on, judges? The, on the I was on the Voice season 14, and my judge was Adam Levine. On the show that year, we had Adam Levine, right. Alicia Keys, right. Kelly Clarkson, and Blake Shelton. Okay. Okay. Yep. So um, yeah, with, with all that said, it was a wonderful experience, a great show. But that that first day, yeah. you know, the first day of of the blind auditions, man. Yeah. 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 I mean, I performed a lot. You know, I performed a lot around <laughs> town. I performed a lot in different cities and different states and yeah. on different stages. I've been in front of the camera before. Right. But it was something about that one moment, um, just walking on the stage, like just just going in my, in, in my head, I'm like, oh my God, you know, the, the world is about to see me, you know. The world, that's right. I can either fly or I can either, you know, I can yeah. fail or right. I can fall. So that was going on, that was going through my head and I'm like, oh my God, I just want to make everybody happy, I'm yeah. on, you know, as well as myself. And then on top of that, I'm like, oh my God, like how are they going to react to the song that I'm singing, you know. Which black different. Guy, right. It's different. I'm a black guy singing this rock song. I don't I don't think they've ever had anybody to sing that song on the show before. They, they said that. And, yeah, they and said so that. that was a task in itself. But um, so, I mean, of course, I was nervous. I was super like, oh God, what am I going to do? I was confused in my head, but. Right before they call right, your name to come out. This is right before they call your name to come out. And before they call your name to come out, you know, they give you maybe like 10 minutes to get yourself together if right, you want right. to go warm up, if right, you want to go right. do whatever. But a lot of people don't know that before all of that, they're, they're filming all of this. Exactly. So while you're waiting, you know, thinking about, okay, I hope I hit that note. I hope I do this. You know, the world yeah. is about to see this. You know, you got people in your face. So you, it's not really a lot of privacy. So, But anyway, I took that first couple stairs, I mean steps onto the stage, and I get to the middle, and I take a deep breath. I'm not sure. I can't remember if they show that on, on TV or not, but I take a deep breath, and then we, so we start. And when I started, I'm like, okay, all right. So and this is always how I've been. Like the first couple of notes of every time I step on the stage, right. I'm always like, oh shoot, right. you know, okay, here we go. I got, I got to make this work. So those, the, when I did the first few words of the song, and then I heard ping, I'm like, wait a minute, yeah, man. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. wait, is this real? It also felt like a dream. Now, like, now, 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 how close are you to the judges? Were you so, there, like, yeah, how close would you say? 
So uh, let's just say we're here and let's see, the judges may be, I know you guys can't really see, maybe just a little bit past this window here. Okay, okay. So they're, they're, but you have clear view of them. Oh, yeah. The you back have, of their chairs. Right? Yeah, you have clear view. They tell you. And you knew who your judges were. Yes, they'll tell you. Your, their names are on the back oh, okay, of the chairs. Okay, okay, okay. So, so I'm sitting there and I open my mouth and I'm like singing and saying like the first couple <laughs> words and then I hear like the boom. So the first boom kind of threw me off guard and I'm like, yeah, oh, right, yeah, right. Oh, yeah, right, all, exactly. you know, that's all I needed well, that's was kind of inspiring, right? Exactly, and, yeah, and yeah, that's yeah. all I needed, and that's all I kept saying, God, like, just either give me the opportunity to let the world see me, whether yeah, I make yeah. it onto the show or whether I'm not, whether yeah. I don't. Yeah. And I kept saying, God, and, and if so, all I needed was one chair. That's right. All yeah. I needed was one chair, and then, like, maybe five or ten seconds into the song, he yeah, turned, bam again. and then, bam, yeah. the beautiful Alicia Keys. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. My God. I remember that. Oh. I remember that. How I pass that up, I don't know. You know, shout out to Alicia Keys. She's one of the most beautiful spirits. She's the most humble. She's so she's beautiful in general. She's, sister, yeah. she's so calm. She's yeah. she's uh, she's like the the definition of the word zen. I would say. Ah. Um, I was. Just, she's so like when you're around her, yeah. you kind of like feel. Sure. She don't even have to say anything, but you yeah. know when she's around because she, that's that and she, aura and that. Didn't she walk up to you? Don't I remember? Yes, her she guy? did. She walked up to me. See, that would have been it right there for me. I'd have been done. Show would have been over. That was in my ear. Oh, that's it. What she said? Yes, she did, man. She did, man. Show over. Show over for me. That'd have been it right there. You know what? And I, at that point, I thought that I was going to choose her. Yeah. And then Adam, you know, he was talking about, you know. How he loved my voice and how he thought that I was a different person. Mind you, that whole thing, a lot of people think, you know, you get a few minutes and then it's, it's done. Between editing and all that stuff, we were on stage going back and forth for at least 20 minutes. Okay. For at least 20, 25 minutes, back and forth, trying to figure out, you know, they were saying their piece. Everybody had something to say, but right. the way that they edited it and put it on, on TV, you yeah. know, they cut a lot of that out. But um, Adam said some stuff like um, he wanted to see me go on and be a, a world class singer, a world class artist, and he also pointed out a couple flaws that I had in my performance. Sure, sure. And that's what I appreciated. Okay. He said he wanted to, you know, fix those flaws that I had in my performance, okay. and he wanted to, you know, make me a better entertainer, a better artist uh -huh. um, than, than who I was at this moment. And so yeah, that's yeah. what that's what brought me to him. Because Alicia, I, friends, I love Alicia. I love you, girl. <laughs> But you know, she was kind of saying, you know, you're 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 really good. You know, you are you're blessed. God put you here, and that was like the thing. You know, I'm a big God person. Right. So I'm like, oh my God, I gotta go with her. But then when Adam was like, you know, I just want to fit you. I want to create. So you you had no in the beginning. Yeah. You had no thoughts in your mind, preconceived ideas to say if blank and blank hits the chair, uh -huh. hits the button, mm -hmm. I'm going with them. You nope. didn't you didn't have that. I didn't have that. I just wanted to get on the show. Okay. I just wanted to be on the show. I wanted to be selected. I didn't really care because I knew that I was going to be able to try to... If I got on the show, I knew I was going to give my all of course, with yeah. whatever it is that they threw of course, of course. So no matter what judge I chose, I just felt like I'm going to get my best. Right. And each performance and whatever they tell me to do, I'm going to do my best to execute that and to, to bring forth what I know I can bring so forth. So for those of us, or those people out there that don't know what happens in the in the intro mm -hmm. while you're recording from week to week mm -hmm. what are you all doing so you 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 you, you make it to the next yeah. show next week yep what do you do for that week what's happening man it's it's like a it's a run around not a run around it's just like you're you're busy from like five yeah. o'clock in the morning until like sometimes you can go to the next two o'clock in the morning really? so depending on what you have to do right, right and what your schedule is and let me just rewind a little bit a lot of people don't know that that process i was in la for almost an entire year Oh, you know, almost an entire year with that show because before you even get to the final oh. auditions, they fly you back and forth. You know, some certain people they fly you back and forth to do like third and fourth auditions to go in front of the judges panel and right, right. I mean not the judges panel but the producers panel. Okay. And the blessed thing about my situation was um, when I first heard about this that this particular year's audition, I was like, man, you know, I can't afford to do it. I can't afford to go out to LA or I can't afford to go out to uh, Chicago or wherever the auditions yeah, were that yeah. particular year, and I'm like, man, I got I just got a new car, you know, I, I still got, <laughs> you know, I'm still paying off my hospital bills from when I was in the hospital, right, right. so I'm like, man, I just don't have the money to go, right. and shout out to, I think I was at Thursday Bliss, 
I believe it. I think it was a Thursday Bliss or Trey Sparks, one of the two. But somebody recorded about well, Thursday's Bliss. Is a, yeah, is Thursday's a, Bliss is Thursday DC, Bliss is an open right? mic in Washington D.C. Shout out to Shawn Michaels and Troy So Ella and all the the singing people at uh, Thursday Bliss. Uh, right. Thursday Bliss has been a platform for a lot of D.C. artists okay. and a lot of artists around the world. That's actually. a weekly. That's a it's weekly. A, it's a bi-weekly thing. Oh, okay. um, I've been I one believe, time. Yeah, I, I, I believe it's a bi-weekly twice, yeah. thing. Uh, but it's a pretty cool thing. If you're ever in D.C., make sure you check out Thursday Bliss. Um, it's a dope open mic spot, and you got a hella good singer, so check it out. Yeah. But anyway, somebody recorded me at one of those events and posted it online. And out of the blue, you know, first of all, I'm talking to friends about it like a couple nights after yeah. I talked about the audition. And they were like, you should go, you should do it, you know, and I was telling them, telling them why I couldn't do it at the moment right. because I had financial issues. They were like, well, you should just go do it anyway. I'm like, nah, I'm just gonna leave it out. And plus, I've already auditioned for that show several times before. You have? I have, but so I've only okay. gotten up to the, um, I've never made it past the first round. Okay. And that's just the catacall audition. They will always be like, great voice, you know, but now we're looking for this season. Right, right, right. So I'm like, okay, so I just thought it was gonna be discouraging. another. Discouraging? Yeah, that was kind of discouraging, yeah. Especially okay. when you okay. feel like you've done your best and you gave a great audition. Right. And it's just like, so oh. each, So each time, each time you would do it, mm -hmm. Would you honestly walk away and say, "That's the best I could have. I, I did. I did my best." I, yeah, I, and then there was one or two times where I went, and I know I didn't get as much rest as I needed. Um, so right. those two times, I can't blame it on myself. But the other three times that I went, were I just felt like I gave a great performance, and it was just like, "Okay, well, you're not what we're looking for." So at, season, yeah. So at that point, I'm like, "Okay, well, what what are you guys looking for? Right. Is it like another?" Uh, American Idol type thing, you know, where they pick the foolish ones and then they, you know, right. then they pick a few of the talented ones. So I'm like, well, is it this? So I kind of gave up a little bit and then when they brought that to my attention, I'm like, okay, well, whatever, you know, I, I, I'm going to lose money if I go up there, number one. Right. Number two, I don't want to go up there for them to say, you know, great voice, but not this time again for the right. fifth or sixth time. Right. Right. So anyway, long story short, I get a call from a guy named Lamont. Thank you, Lamont. For your blessing, man, and thank you for reaching out to me, man. I get a call from one of the producers, one of the um, talent producers, okay. named Lamont. He uh, hits me up and say, "Hey, man, I saw your video. Um, we really? really, we're really impressed. We like it. We want to know, are you interested in being on NBC's The Voice?" So I'm like, "Okay, this is BS. You know, I just had a conversation exactly. with my friends. They try to trick me. They try to, you know, whatever. <laughs> and I'm over it. So I'm like, okay, yeah, whatever." So at this point, I still had a nonchalant attitude about it because right. I didn't I didn't believe it was real. I thought I was being set up. Right, right, right. <laughs> right, right, right. So I'm like, which is kind of would be funny, right? right. In a way. So I'm like, you know, and a lot of my friends got a way of trying to play games. So I'm like, yeah. all right, this ain't the, you know, I'm a little sensitive now. Yeah, right, yeah, right, 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 right. Because right. <laughs> it's been five times. Right. So um, so I'm going back and forth with Lamont, and then Lamont puts me in touch with some other producers from the show. Okay. And then I'm just sitting there like, okay, well maybe this is is real. Yeah. But then in the back of my mind, I still had, you know, okay, it's doubt in my mind. Like, yeah. this, this Somebody's going to really come out and say, Somebody's going to say, ah, we yeah, got we're you. just messing with you. Okay, right. nah. So I really didn't believe anything until I got my plane ticket. I got my plane ticket. They sent me my, my flight and the information. Right. And then after that, it was, you know, wow. it was history after that. So let, let me make sure I'm clear on what you're saying. You did a performance at The Bliss. Yep. What is it called? Something Bliss. Thursday Bliss. Thursday Bliss. Mm -hmm. Which is a local jam session it's for a, vocalists. Yep. You did a, you, what you've been doing. Right. You did that. Somebody videotaped it mm -hmm. and put it on line. Somebody put it on line. Yep. And one of the producers from the from voice the show. saw it. Reached out to me. Yep. And saw reached it. Out, reached out to and me. that's how you got on. And that's how I got on. And you could have given up. I could have given up. Easily. Man. Easily. Easily. Listen, if that wouldn't have happened, I probably wouldn't have gone to, out to go. You weren't going to do it. Yeah. yeah, yeah I yeah. probably wasn't going to do it because I, you know. Cost. I mean, yeah, it's it number one cost. You know, it costs yeah. to go up there wherever you go. And you tried it. A few and times. you tried it a few times, and then you got to find somewhere to stay. Right, if you don't right. want to sleep on the street, right, if right. you don't want to sleep in your car, you got to right. find somewhere to stay. You got to find a flight, depending on how far it is. You got to buy food. You got to worry about you know what you're gonna put on, what you're gonna right. wear, how you're gonna look, how yeah, you're gonna yeah. sound. It's a lot, yeah, 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 it's yeah. A lot to go with, that goes into that. So, yeah, but you did it, man. You yeah. did it. You did it, and you were very successful. Thank you. And uh, as a friend, yeah. I can't tell you, man, how proud I would be when I would turn on and see that you were there. It would just be like so funny because I know you. <laughs> right, 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 right. And you were that same silly brother, that same. <laughs> but one thing about you, man, no matter what you've been through, uh, you are always a happy brother. You, you may be going through that now. Now, 
you know, we all have another side. Right, right, right. You know, right. But on the outside, yeah. man, you're always smiling. You're always <laughs> silly. It's that fun. Even today, I hadn't seen yeah. you in all, you know, so long. Right. Because uh, you wouldn't return calls. But, <laughs> you know, there. but I mean, as a matter of fact, I told you earlier, I heard that after the voice, somebody went up to you and said, Hey man, EC said call him. You said who is EC? Right. You see how people just yeah. go. That's just what I heard. I'm just saying what I heard. This guy trying to get you know. already. I just, I'm just saying what I heard. I got, I'm just saying what I heard. That's what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, oh. man, you know, you went up there and you did your thing. Yeah. And you went all the way to the semifinals, yeah. which is a big, big deal. Yeah. Uh, so you know what's weird is you and I did a show together, mm -hmm. uh, and you played the lead. You played Frankie Lyman. Yes, sir. In uh, Why Did Fools Fall, Fall in, in Love? love. Yeah. Now, living in Vegas 18 years, I've done a zillion shows. <laughs> but I have to say, that's one of the best, and you were one of the funniest <laughs> leads that I've ever had to work with in my life, man. <laughs> because I remember doing the show, and we were two uh, days away from opening. You're telling my secrets. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling everything. We were two days away from opening, and we're in there rehearsing. And of course, you and the other two, you and the two ladies, y'all have your scripts in your hand. Yeah. But I noticed them kind of putting their scripts to the side a little bit. <laughs> you didn't let that. You you were holding like the Bible. Man. You didn't let that. You didn't let it go at all. And, um, I'm, and I'm thinking, 48 hours. Yeah. Is this brother gonna be ready in 48 hours <laughs> to do this? Gracious man. Not only were you ready, <laughs> but you took it to a level. Me being a jazz musician. Uh -huh. We base playing jazz on improvisation. Right. We never play the same song the same way mm -hmm. twice. You never said a line, I don't think, <laughs> the same, same way. way. Twice. You were making stuff up, man. I, and, and as the band, we would sit back there and go, what did he just say? <laughs> because some of the stuff, we get cues from you. Right. And we look at each other and, and like, some of those cues. Yo, you miss a whole lot of them. A whole lot of them. But I'm glad you missed them. Yeah, because what you added, man, was absolutely incredible. Well, thank you, man. I'm so I'm, I'm so serious, man. Thank you. You tore the lead up in that show. Thank you, but I, I will say, let me tell you, that was one of the best shows that I have ever been a part of. Oh wow! That I've ever had the privilege of being even asked to do. Shout yeah. out to Tom Jones, man. Yes. Thank you so and much. And William Knowles for the and music. And William Knowles, yes. Thank you guys for creating such. A masterpiece. I'm telling you, if we ever get a chance to do it again, and oh, I know we will. Oh, we will. Oh, we we will. will. I'm telling you, you guys got to just, not just for me, just come and get the story of Frankie Lyman and, oh, and, that and what he went through deep. and how his life was and, and and how some of his music still to today kind of like still impacts some people. So it's it's a great story. He was a great guy in some ways. <laughs> yeah, he has some issues. We all We all have issues. We all do. See, it was a, it's a great story. So... If you ever get a chance to just check out Why Do Fools Fall in Love, check us starring out. Starring Rachel Lamar. <laughs> there might be but, another version. You want the one starring Rachel Lamar. Yeah, I appreciate it. Now, you that. really, man, you play, you played the role. You Thank looked you. the part. Thank you. you and and that was another thing, man. That was, that was one of the biggest challenges I've ever had. I've never starred in a show by myself, a musical by myself. So, oh, yeah. number one, on top of I was stressed about that. And, yes, I did have my script like this. Oh, God. Up until so the last minute because, you know, I just wanted to, you know, even if I get, didn't get every single line right, I just wanted to be able to tell the story correctly, you know, versus having every single line right. You know, right. If I, I was well, you stressed told out it. about well, you it. You told it. But I just wanted to make sure I got the story across appropriately and, and accurately. And in those days, boy, I'm telling you, we had some fun. That oh, was a wow. show that I never, I never walked into that theater sad or not happy. Even when I was feeling sad or going through something at home, when I walked in, know that I had to, okay, I got to put this Frankie Lyman on, it just felt good. You know, it, it felt great. No, um, your, your, your charisma, your persona, your presence, just the way when you would walk out there, I'm serious. I mean, I'm, you know, I, I don't BS. You know, you yeah, know. yeah, I know you don't BS. No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> when you would walk out on stage, man, it was like magic, man. Wow. But it was very similar to The Voice. Uh-huh. Your ass was smiling so much on The Voice, man. I saw every two before. I was like, look, look at this brother grinning like you were. But, you were, but you were in that zone, man. Yeah. You were in there. And, and Frankie, the same thing. You, you, I mean, and then every night you were getting better and better. And what I liked is... As uh, you know, if you were in the audience, 
you wouldn't, you couldn't predict. Normally, no. you go to a show, you go, okay, I, I love this show so much. I've been five times. Right. I know gonna, what he's gonna say. Yep. Oh no. Oh no. 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 We don't know what you're gonna say. Yeah. Because you changed it every night, yeah. every show. <laughs> and that that you know, like I say, being playing jazz. Yeah. George Benson has a quote, and he says, "If you're a true jazz musician, you'll never play the same song twice mm -hmm. the same way." Yeah. That's a compliment to you, man. Well, I because, appreciate that. And you were able to come up. I know you didn't rehearse it backstage. Yeah, no. I know that. Because that was just, it would just happen at the moment. And and then you have that big grin on your yeah. face as everybody's trying not to laugh. Because it was really funny what you just said. But you got the point across. Yeah. And I thought that was like, man. I thought it was killing me. The I beauty of live theater and the beauty of, of, of uh, Tom allowing me to just be, just to just go off the off the flow and off the cup with some certain things. So thank him you and William, him and William Knowles and Tom Jones. Yeah. We're able to take a show like this, and it's a small, intimate show mm -hmm. with an intimate cast, mm -hmm. and you get to feel everything. Yep. And the one thing audiences would say when they would leave, we were at the Black Box Theater uh -huh. in downtown Mar Silver Spring, yep, Maryland. Silver Spring, yeah. What everybody would say, though, is they left happy. Good. They left. They were like, we just leave, go home, drive, and sing in those yep. songs. Mm -hmm. and, and that was another thing at the end of the night, you know, to hear, to look and see people smiling. Oh, and, man. You and, you know, because I'm very hard on myself, too. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm very cautious of whatever, how I'm, I'm affecting the audience. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. What the personas are. So every night I would look and I would see some smiles. I'm like, Okay, I did. I did a good job. And then people when were they, talking about you like crazy. Yeah, they and when they started you. to sing along, man, and that's, that was. When we man. turn the lights up, remember? Yeah, that and was, everybody in the auditorium would be would be singing. That man, that was that's a, a, that's a true sign of you handled your business. Man. I had a great time, man. And one that, other one other experience I want to talk about with you is when the very first time I had you come over to try an original <laughs> song. <laughs> yes. Which, well, actually, two different times. The first time you came, you came over with the group. Yes. It was like three or four. Man, I was I was scared. Soul, I was like, oh, you and man. Soul. <laughs> And I don't I can't Sean remember Sean Michaels. Or Sean Michaels. Yep. Was it with just the three? I of think you? it was me, Sean Michaels, and So Edley, yes. Okay, so you all came over to try out one of the songs. Yes. And again, you didn't know me at that point. And people know me that I have a way of complimenting people that you may not take it as a compliment. Yeah. It may seem the opposite. And I remember sitting here and you all did your thing. And I said to all of you, I said, You all need to get the hell out of my house. Yeah. Yes. And there was this pause. And everybody's looking like, what? Mind you, hold on, before you go, mind you, we had already been kind of like more that, you know, EC is, you know, he's going to tell it, tell it like it is. He's very tough. He's very hard. He like what he like. He don't like what he don't like. And he's going to let exactly. you know. So we walked in and I'm like, oh, shoot, man. Yeah. Yeah, it was and then we, it was we sang and then he said that. And I'm I, like, said, I said, I said, I said, y'all can't, y'all get the hell out of my house. I think I tapped Sean. I'm like, damn. Yeah, I said, y'all can't switch. And there's this pause. And I said, I'm serious. And I sat back in the chat and said, y'all get the hell out of here. And as you all started kind of, you know, mingling to go, yeah, I said, y'all just blew me away. That was that was unbelievable. And it was like, oh, man. Oh, okay, you liked it. I was like, man, are you kidding? I loved it. The second time, it was just you and I, yes. which was really funny. Yeah. And we have a song that we have written, SVU, uh -huh. uh, Let's Just Stay Friends. Yeah. And Brother Soul had given it to you. Uh -huh. And you came over, and you <laughs> sang it. And I sat here, and I listened to you sing it. And I don't remember what I said verbatim, but it was something like, I don't even know what, I, I don't remember what I, I said. I can't remember what it was. Either. Whatever it was, I remember you <laughs> sitting there with this look. You were like, are you, are, are, are you serious? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I'm dead, I'm dead serious. You were like, wow. I was like, man, you killed it. You went, oh, man, no. you fell on the key. It's a hard dude to please, man. You said, so. man, come on, man. Don't do that to me again. You, scared. you made my heart stop. We laughed. And it was, like, it was like so cool. But. Your voice, uh, Aration, man, and your spirit, seriously. You light up a room when you walk in, you got that thing, you got that vibe, whatever that is, wherever it came from, mm. uh, it's a great thing, man. And Thanks, I hope man. you keep using it. I will. And, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm blessed, man. I'm, you really I'm super are, man. blessed. And those who don't know my story, just you, I mean, you can Google it. But I'm super blessed. I have a second chance at life. You exactly. see my shirt says survivor. I'm working on purpose. Exactly. I am a cancer survivor. So, I mean, it was a time where I didn't think I was going to live. I, exactly. I didn't think I was going to be able to create music. That's why you were so emotional on the view. Absolutely. On the, on the voice. Yeah. I mean, 
Because the song that I that did had was to on get the you. voice. That, that, yeah. had to, that had to get you. One of the songs that I did on this on this show was Don't Stop Believing, and that was one of the songs that I listened to in the hospital. Right. So, I so you would listen that, to that in the I hospital. I was listening to that song in the Why hospital. Why is that song? Why, what? Because of the words Don't but Stop But how did you even get to that song? That's so what, the way that I got, so I used, to, I used to be in a band called Sound Connection. Okay. And we used to cover top 40s. We used to cover all types of, you know, music. Okay. And I used to cover that song in the in um, in the in the band, but it didn't have the same meaning as and effect as it did when I was in the hospital because I wasn't listening to the words at that point. Right, I was right, just right, singing. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't putting it, putting it together. I was exactly. just singing. I wasn't making sense. I was just singing notes at okay, that point. Okay. And then when I got to the hospital, I was sick and I was going through my catalog and the songs that I had in my phone. And I'm like, oh man, don't stop believing it. And I started listening to the actual lyrics. You know, the, yeah. you know it relates to all types of situations, yeah. whether you're sick, whether you're, you're about to lose your house, whether you're going through a, a divorce, whether you're going through whatever. Sure. As long as you stay strong, don't stop believing, yeah. you know, keep going. Yeah. yeah. And that, that brought me through, man. And that's why I was so emotional on this show, because <laughs> I didn't think I was going to, I didn't, I didn't, I don't, I don't know what, I didn't know what was going to happen. Yeah. And then for me to sing that song, and then they were asking me, you know, questions, and they asked why I chose the song. Right. And I told them that, and it was, it was, I just couldn't stop the tears. And it just came, didn't it? It, it just, just came, man. And, and I still get emotional, bro. Yeah, I, can tell, I, can tell. <laughs> I still get emotional because that was a that was a that was a really hard time. That was a hard time in my course, life. Like course. for anybody to go through cancer or any any terminal illness or whatever the, the situation sure, is, sure, sure. it's very hard because you don't know. Yeah, that's right. That's Especially right, that's when right. you already have a plan for your life or you thought you had a certain you plan you for your plan. life and then you it just crashes. Yeah. You know, but God, you know, like I said, I always give shout out to God because God has another plan for everybody. Right. God will always, no matter what the situation is, he'll bring you out. He'll bring you out as a better person. Sure, sure. When I got, I mean, after I came out of that situation, I was a better person. As far as you know, how I treat people, and I always treated people with respect and dignity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just, I wanted to make sure that I always treated people with respect and dignity. I always wanted to make sure I was, when somebody left from being around me, I wanted to make sure they had a smile, you know, because those are the things that I needed when I was going through. You know, I exactly. needed somebody to, to be there. A lot of people you didn't show yeah, up and, and, because, because, and I will say it's my fault because I don't want to say anything. I know I was depressed, bro. You're getting emotional. Just I know, no, no, no. I was, okay, I was depressed, man. I, my whole. My physical appearance changed and sure, everything. Sure. I don't want to be around people like that. I mean, yeah, I don't yeah. want to be, you know. No, no, and so, I mean, a part of the reason why I didn't have anybody around is because I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to keep telling people the story exactly. over and over. Yeah, and I didn't yeah. want to keep reliving knowing that, know, okay, I'm still dealing with chemo. I'm not even done. Right, right, right. So there's still a possibility that I, that I can fall back course, into that trap. Of course, yeah, of course. So, sorry. <laughs> oh, man, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's just real, Rachel. But uh, yeah, I get emotional, man, every time That's I cool. talk about this because it's life, and I'm blessed, bro. But just I'm know that you're not blessed. know that you don't know my story, and I'm not going to get into mm -hmm. it. We'll, we'll talk later. Yeah. But I can totally relate because yeah. I went through my own world of stuff. Yeah. About 17 years ago, mm -hmm. so I can relate. Totally. Yeah, bro. So you know, you man. don't want to, and what you don't want is you don't want to hear I'm sorry. Yeah. I want to hear I'm sorry. <laughs> that, that's not helping me at all. No, it's. I want to just hear. Like, okay, so what are you going to do? What, right. What's, but not when you when they start that. When I hear I'm sorry, I feel like I'm already done. Like it's over. It's over. It's over. Like it's over. Exactly. You know, and people do it with good intentions. And I get no that. No doubt about it. And that. I get that. And I think they don't know what to really say. Right. But and, you don't want to hear. Yeah. But you don't, don't want to hear I'm sorry. All you want to hear is okay. So what's the next step? Right. What, how you gonna what do you how you gonna beat this? I, you, absolutely. Then you get happy. Absolutely. So I totally man totally get it. I can't imagine being on stage, the big world stage like that after what you've been through. That's amazing, man. You know, Thank but you, your man. spirit, Ration, you're a different brother, and it's something really. I mean this. Mm -hmm. It's something special about you, Thank and you. I mean that. And I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you, you see, and, brother. And, Likewise, uh, man. You know, you have you know most of the SVU team. Uh huh. You know Clint. Yeah. You know Rhonda. That, yes, I love Rhonda. Rhonda got you. <laughs> you're her. You're her Shout brother. Shout out to Clint too. You're her little brother. Yeah. Clint, they love Clint. Love they. They love you to death. Who you don't know is brother. Oh, do you know Tyrone? You haven't met Tyrone. I don't think yet. I met Tyrone. So you got to meet Tyrone Jackson. Yeah. He's the other half. Okay. Of the hierarchy in SVU, it's me and him. Yeah. He is uh, one of the best piano players you'll ever hear. Okay. And Shout out to Tyrone. Then I'll see you soon, brother. New Orleans, <laughs> North Carolina. But I got to tell you, brother, before we go, two things. Yeah. I'm gonna put you on the spot for a minute. Okay. I got to. That's what I do. <laughs> uh, but. Um, uh, we definitely got to do a record together one day. Absolutely. We got to do it. We it's, on, do it. it's on tape. It's on recording. It's now. on, you know, we got to do it. Now the problem is <laughs> finding your ass. Now the problem is.
But I got your boy, so I know your boy. Right, right, right. Brother Soul, I got Investigator Soul. Yeah, that's right. I call him, him. I tell Brother Soul. soul. They get I me. tell Soul, go get him. Please find him for me. The soul always comes through for yeah. me. Yeah. Shout um, out to Soul too, brother. Oh, absolutely. You're an incredible brother, incredible artist, incredible spirit. Soul's bro. a bad yeah. cat. Soul, soul is doing all my backgrounds. I got five recordings coming up. Yeah. And Soul is doing the backgrounds. And and not just doing them, uh -huh. but he's creating them for See? everybody. Shout out to so bad bad. So <laughs> Edler, check him out. I'll get his record. Him. Oh, get his record. Oh yeah, we're gonna, we, I'm getting ready to interview him. Yeah, in just a minute. We Good. need to talk. But he's a bad brother. Good. Yes, uh, indeed. Uh, humble, just like you. Absolutely. Same, same spirit, which I love. That's why I love. That. That's I, why love I love that. Man. Man. <laughs> One song that you would sing would be your all-time favorite. One. Uh huh. What, what would that song be? Uh, probably God bless the child. Really? Yeah, I love that song. I'll tell you what. Well, it's two, honestly. Okay. So it's God Bless the Child, and another song is Give Us This Day, which is like a rendition of the Lord's Prayer. Okay. Um, the reason why that one is my favorite is because when I was younger in North Carolina, um, well, my grandmother passed away. Sure. And my aunt sang this song, well, Give Us This Day. Okay. And my aunt, oh my God, this lady can love, like soulful, she can kill. She's, she's very gospel -y. So spirit, Yeah, spirit, very yeah, much so. Yeah. So and I and something about the very first time I heard her sing that song, it just I ain't know Stop anything it. about the Holy Ghost, I ain't know anything about feeling anything on sure. a song. Sure. But at a very young age, that was the first time I ever felt chills all through my body from somebody singing. Really? Yes. And what is it called again? Uh, give us this day. Give us this day. Yeah, it's like a it's a part of the Lord's Prayer. Okay. Some, some people add the Lord's Prayer and give us this, this uh -huh. day together, but Well, you know, you know I'm gonna put you on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> so can 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 you just give us just a little just a just a, a little yeah. acapella, just just a little bit, just a yeah. chance. I'll give you acapella of of of, of Whichever, uh, whatever you want. Okay. Whatever you want. Them that's got shall get. Them that's not shall lose. For the Bible says it. And it still is news. Your mama may have. And your papa may have. But God bless the child that's got his own. That's got his own. Hey, y'all see you, woman. That, I, you know, this is... Man, they won't let me come in. Oh, no, no, no. That's all good, man. You know, come on, God, at the crime, bro. Of course, yes. of course. Of course you know? <laughs> but you know that's real, too. So it's all, you know, one-on-one yeah, -on -one with EC3 is about being real. Absolutely. And, and I tell you, man, uh, as a man, I have a lot of respect for you. I mean that. Likewise. As a musician, uh, the same. Likewise. And uh, I wish you nothing, brother, but the best. I mean Likewise. that. And I look forward to the day we share the stage again. And we will. Very we, soon. We, we are we're Very waiting soon, right yeah. now. We, we're, we're waiting for the Frankie Nyman show. We want it to be picked up. You know, we're, it will we, be. We want it to be picked up. Uh, it's something that you really need to see. Uh, please, 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 America, the world. Uh, look out for this brother on anything that you see. Which, which, is your hashtag still Ration Nation? Still Ration Nation, baby. Okay. Ration uh, okay. Nation on your side. Oh, oh, <laughs> I like that. Oh, I like that. Let's hope, uh, that, have, yeah, let's hope Nationwide don't sue me. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 they might want to use that. Right. They might want to use that. So, uh, again, y'all, we're dealing with Brother Ration Lamar. Yes, and uh, EC. Inter entertainer extraordinary. <laughs> uh, SVU Entertainment, one on one with EC. Uh, ECT, EC3. That's why this is real. One on one with EC3. Thank you so much, America. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you.